Okay, so welcome to another technology video. Um, in this video, we are going to be showing you how you can uh, stream from your mobile phone or your iPad um, via OBS using um, some free software. So the software is from a company called Elgato. They make capture devices. Um, you can install the software on your iPhone and iPad um, and then you can broadcast using uh, the Elgato screen link uh, straight into OBS. So how do we do that? So the first thing that we want to do is we want to um, go to the website. So let's just move across to that. So the website that you want to go to is the Elgato website and you want to go to the um, into Elgato into the capture and capture game software um, and you want to search for Elgato gaming hardware drivers so the drivers that we have installed are we've installed the latest capture 4k 60 FPS drivers We've also installed the HD60, the HD60S, the HD60 and the HD drivers just to cover all bases. So um, how do you go about getting the um, capture to work? So once you've installed all of the relevant drivers, um, you can then come to your OBS setup and you can add a source so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this screen here so actually we'll add it on this one so um, as you can see here we've got our capture display which is uh, this um, screen over on the left here and we're going to add let's bring that across over to the uh, stream we're going to add a video capture device and the video capture device we're just going to say create new because we've not actually got one set up yet and we're going to OK that and we're going to go and move it down to the Elgato uh, screen link <clears throat> so that will then set everything up now um, this part's quite important I've accepted all of the device defaults because I'm using the free software with the paid for software so the paid for version on the iPhone and iPad uh, you can increase your uh, resolutions but what we've done on our devices is we've set it to native and we've accepted all of the defaults so we're going to accept the defaults on here the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your either your iPad or your iPhone basically what you want to do is you want to go into your settings on your iPad or iPhone um, you want to scroll down until you find uh, your control center which is just below the general settings so go into control center and then go into customize controls and then you want to make sure that screen recording is in the include section once that's included in the include section then you'll be able to stream um, from your device so the next thing that you want to do is once obviously the software is installed on your tablet or phone you want to open up the um, Elgato screen share or screen link application and you want to click on settings and you want to make sure that you've got your default set there unless you're using the paid for version of which you can set your maximum resolution and your, your bit rates you can up the bit rate on the free version to um, 16 megabits a second on the paid for version you can up that to 32 megabits a second and you can improve in, increase your resolution as well so once you've got that installed, what you want to do on the iPhone, um, certainly on my iPhone, you scroll up from the bottom. On the iPad, you scroll down from the top right. And you want to press and hold your screen record button and then select screen link. And then you want to set, um, select it and set it to broadcast. <clears throat> that will then give you a countdown from 3, 2, 1. And as you can see here, we're now broadcasting from our device. And if, if, if you... Um, uh, it will auto rotate on the iPad. I haven't managed to find a way to do that on my iPhone, but I've got quite an old iPhone, so um, I'm putting it down to that. Uh, but screen rotation works fine on the iPad, and obviously the screen recording works fine. So anything you do in here, you can now stream to OBS. If you want to use the camera, well, that's fine. That works as well. So if we go back here and find the camera app, as you can see here, let's just 
Oh, let's just turn it around. So that is all the system. So that all works fine. Um, you can even zoom in, I guess. Let's have a look at that. Yep, zoom in, zoom out. And then to end your um, capture, you just again on the I iPad, just drag down top right and then press your um, screen recording icon and that will switch it off. So um, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave us a comment in the section below. And if you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.